Hello everybody, today we're going to start learning how to create an application, a mobile application, a game, uh, based on 2048. Um, and we're going to start building up progressively, we're going to start just learning how button uh, buttons work, how to add event listeners, and then we're going to build up, build a grid, build the squares, start doing the game logic, detecting touch and so on. Um, but for now we're just going to start just creating the application um and just checking how we can connect a button get the event from that button and start uh, reacting to that event um by the way if we haven't met my name is david um and i really for me coding is a game it's a game of logic and it's a game of construction um but in either case it's fun um my passion is to share this joy and i'd like to invite you to come and play with me um so right off the bat, we're going to be using a tool called Solar2D. It used to be called Corona SDK. For some reason, they changed the name. And we're going to be building up with that. We're going to start with an empty scene, and uh, we're going to build up from there. Here we have the, um, the, the, the interface to start up. We're going to create a new product. Here we go, new project. And we're going to create, call it uh, game two. 48 i think well, i can't use the number uh it starts you, we're going to use the phone preset just for, for simplicity for, for a question of simplicity put it upright and go next now it's going to create a file there we go i'm going to put it here in tutorial open okay now we created the um the file here and i'm just going to open it in the editor there we go let's open this Okay, now, the first thing to note, we have several files at the root. This is the settings files, as the name indicates. Um, we'll leave that for later. Configuration, same thing. This is um, this allows us to set certain settings at build time. We don't need to look into it too much right now. The interesting thing is here the main file, which is the file which is the first file to be executed when the application starts. Um, or the thing to note is that um, Solar2D to to, Solar allows us to create builds both for Android and for iOS and also HTML and stuff. Um, we're going to be focusing just on mobile applications, which is already quite a lot. Um, the interesting thing is there's quite a lot of documentation on um, Solar2D and we're going to be drawing on that documentation. And the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, working with scenes and the tool. For scenes is called composer so here we're going to go take a scene template here this is the the template for what a scene should be and we're going to copy paste this into a file i'm going to create a folder called new folder scenes here we're just going to create new file i'm just going to keep that for memory's sake because it's going to be useful template.lua um, put it in there and then um, new file game.lua and new file new file um, menu.lua and so here now what I'm going to do is in this main code I'm just going to go into the um, menu so I'm going to do local composer equals require Composer, so that's going to include the composer library into my scene, into my my not a scene, my file, and then I'm just going to go composer. Go to scene, and we're going to go to the scene called scenes. Dot menu. Now there's a simulator. I'm just going to bring this onto the scene. So I have scenes menu. Dot lua. Oh, I have to fill in these files here. So menu.lua is empty now if i relaunch relaunch the simulator there we go we have the menu started but there's nothing in there now what's interesting to note here is um even if you don't know lua it's fairly easy to understand look so we include the composer the library we've already included before uh, we create a scene um, and this scene we're going to have four functions that be set on it uh, there's the create function which is used for creating the scene uh, the show function which has two phases the event has two phases there's a create event and a show event sorry a will show and a did show event um, so if you want to set up something before uh, you're going to show it and then 
uh, start like a timer or whatever and once you have shown it that's where it's going to happen there's the reverse um, function which is the hide so if you're you need to prepare to hide or if you need to clean, do cleaning up once you've hidden the scene that happens here in the wheel and did destroy destroys the scene and we add event lists on there all this and return the scene what we want to do here is create a button um, so we're going to create a simple button here uh, we're going to do a local display new we're going to do a group uh, and e we're gonna um sorry group equals display new group this group we're going to put a square inside it local rect equals display new rect um before we go further we'd like to fix this um, rectangle in the center of the screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file called library libs and in this libs we're going to do constants so it's const dot lua here I'm going to create a table uh, local uh, const equals so this is an empty table I'm going to say const screen width equals display content width and the same for the height screen height equals content height and we're going to do the um there's one that's useful is to have the half height so half width is the screen width times 0.5 and i'm sure you can guess what's coming up next um so half height equals const height and we're going to return this and we're going to be able to we're going to add stuff later on to this but this is good for a start and so here in the scene we have the menu we're going to include in the same way here we can have local const equals require sorry i dropped the equal require libs const um, and so here our square we're going to put into um actually not the square the square we're going to put in zero zero but it's going to be a um const screen width times 0.8 and um const uh screen screen height times 0.1 so it's going to be kind of a longish one um we're going to insert the rectangle into the group there's two ways of doing that the simplest way here is just to do group what we're also going to do is gonna anchor children equals true so this is basically gonna have the group of children be kind of centered around the center of the group so there's the, the the position of the group is the position of the center of the of the children is so they're anchored together um so i've put the rectangle in the group i've forgotten to assign it there we have um and now i'm gonna add a text local text equals display new text now there's two ways of defining text but there's the old way and the new way and we forget about the old way parent equals group put that in there uh same position x equals zero y equals zero text equals start um, and so the last thing to do is to position the group so group um, x equals const half width sorry const half width group y equals const half height and one final thing here we have the scene um, which is the the object we're building and scene it, we have to um do the include of the group and so the the group is actually going to be positioned that we've created is going to be positioned inside the scene just to have a look at what that does um insert not include sorry insert relaunch and we have the text the only problem here is that the button and the text are the same color so we're going to set the color here set fill color and we're going to create a 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. Um, 
let's relaunch that and so we have this we're going to just make the text maybe slightly uh, larger so text size equals i don't know 48 off the top of my head relaunch here start oh maybe a bit too big let's go for 32 and now what we're going to do is for this button we're going to want to add an event listener which allows us to change the scene so we're going to actually what i'm going to do is the scene i'm going to define add the button as a uh, variable within the, within the scene so i'm going to say we're seeing uh, button equals group and i'm actually going to add the event listener in the did show here phase so that we don't actually um, trigger the event while the scene is not being shown which wouldn't make any sense and so we go scene um, button and then we're going to go add event listener um, tap and we're going to write a function directly and this function is simply going to use composer uh, composer go to scene and it's going to go to the scene which is called scenes game now we can pass parameters to the game but at the moment we don't care about that that much here the game is empty so we can just take the template and here and what we're going to do quickly is just draw a square inside the scene i'm also going to include this const file that we created earlier inside inside the game here we go um, so when we create the game i'm just gonna uh, do local um, uh, background we're going to call it for the moment um, display new rect and it's going to be positioned in half width const half height x y so in the center of the screen and we're going to do it it's going to be screen width large and screen width high so that's going to do a square and so let's see what that does relaunch simulator uh, so here why is it not happy scene burner button will make make some more sense um and so we have now this exists let's relaunch and start okay new rec number expected got nil 25 so we actually changed scene but we've got a bug 25 button new rect const half width const half height oh i forgot the const here const screen width const screen width okay relaunch start we have a square so what's interesting here is in this fairly short video we've actually managed to uh, start the application create a button create scenes switch scenes on the click of the button and we've even started creating the grid um, in the next video we'll actually create the grid itself um, I'm, ho I'm hoping you're having fun i am in any case um, if you are having fun if you're having um, uh, finding this video interesting or if you're learning stuff feel free to subscribe to pump that push button, like button um, and i'll be happy to answer any questions in the comments box below uh, and it's uh, been uh, nice talking to you. See you in the next video. Bye.